Hey everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to navigate your Blackboard Ultra Base navigation panel and your course menu. So to begin, when you log into Blackboard, you're going to land on the institution page. Please take the time to scroll through and get familiar with the resources that are available here. There'll be important updates and reminders of things to do. There are important resources that if you click on the links available will provide video tutorials and other resource information. So make sure you scroll through and, um, and get familiar with the resources there on the institution page. Uh, the next link is your profile. So you should see your name here. If you click on that, you'll be able to go into this um, profile and use the settings options to update your information. Um, in an online environment, it's really important to make sure that we uh, provide as much information about ourselves as possible so we feel like we're really communicating with other people. One way to do that is to uh, make sure that you include your picture. So to do that, you would just hover over any item, click on the pencil icon, um, and from there you can upload a picture so that that will show up um, in your online classes so that your um, colleagues and your um, classmates can get to know you a little bit better, especially in this online world we're living in today. Uh, the next item is the activity stream. Here you'll see at one glance important information about um, upcoming assignments and possible due dates. So, and, and maybe even some things that you've missed that you might want to contact your instructor about. So be sure that you, um, you take the time to check out the activity stream. That's going to be at a glance really quickly um, what's coming up and what's um, been recently due. Your courses button is going to probably be the one you use the most because that's where you'll access your um, list of courses that you're registered for and some important support courses like the Blackboard Student Orientation that you're in now, um, New Student Orientation. To access your courses, you would just simply click on the course link and that will open up that course in um, another layer. So you'll see the navigation panel is always in the background here. And then you have one layer up is where your course is. Um, and then we're going to go over the course menu in just a few minutes. But to exit a course, you just click on the X, the purple X in the top left corner. And that takes you back one level to your base navigation panel. Um, from there, you'll see other um, items such as the calendar, messages, grades. This is going to be an important item where you click there. And you can see at a glance all the courses that you're taking and um, upcoming assignments, um, assignments that you've already submitted. You can click here on that course and it will take you straight to that course um, grade center so you can see um, the grades that you've made, the up, upcoming assignments, and, um, and things that, are, that will be due soon. Again, I'm going to click out of that um, course by clicking on the purple X in the top left corner. And that takes me back to the navigation panel. This next button is super important because there are so many resources and, um, and people on campus that will provide you with um, a lot of support, but it's going to be difficult at times to remember who those people are and you know what all is available. So the good thing is you don't have to remember all that. You just have to remember that you have this assist button every time you log into Blackboard it's always there when you click there this is going to be a repository of all just about every campus or online um, resource that you'll need so if you need to get in touch with um, financial aid you would just click on that link and it would take you to their page where it provides contact information and other resources that you'll need so when, if you're not sure about who to contact or how to get in touch with somebody or where those resources are, just remember when you log into Blackboard that Blackboard Assist is there for you and um, just about anything you need is going to be located right there. Okay? I want to show you that oftentimes when you click on things within Blackboard, it will open up in a new tab. 
So you can see here at the top, I can toggle back and forth between my Blackboard course or the Blackboard site and other sites that open. So you can kind of go back and forth between these two tabs. Um, and so take the time to get to, to know your, your, um, your navigation panel. But again, um, the one that you're going to probably use the most is this Courses button. So click there. Um, you'll see a list of your courses. You can favorite these items. So if you know you want to go to the um, your you know uh, the Blackboard Student Orientation, you can click on that star, and it will pop it up at the top. So you don't have to scroll through. Especially if you're taking several courses, you won't have to scroll. The ones that you access a lot will be here at the top. You can also access it if you don't like this list view. You can toggle over here to the tile view, and you can. Um, it's the same courses, it's just in a different um, view. So you, you get to decide which way works better for you. But once you're in your courses menu, to again, to access your course, you just click on the course link, and it will open up um, in a new layer. So this is your standard menu. Most courses will look very similar to this. The four buttons at the top will always be the same at Beaufort. You'll see the announcements, your instructor tab, the syllabus tab, and your content assignments. So those will always look the same at the, um, in every course. At the very bottom is the Blackboard Tech Support button. So if you click on that, it's going to open up in, um, a new page. And you'll see here that um, if you're ever having some technical issues, this is where you would go. Um, you'd read through this, there's some important information, but there's always contact information down here. So if you click on Blackboard Support, there's our contact information. If you need IT, if it's a um, username or password issue, you would contact them. We do have a 24-7 help desk. If, it's, if you're having trouble after hours, you can contact, um, you can click on that link. And there's just other general information um, for troubleshooting. To get back to your course from here, you can see it didn't open up in another tab. You just simply use your little cookie trail, click back one level, click on the title of your course, and that takes you back to your class. Okay, so you can see here the first tab is the announcements tab. Your instructors will get in touch with you in different ways. Um, You'll see announcements posted in your Blackboard course, and often these course these announcements will also be sent to your BCCC email address. And so that's why it's very important for you to check your email um, at least once a day, if not twice, for important e emails and updates. The second tab is the instructor tab. At, Bo at Beaufort, we want you to reach out it's never a bother. The contact information is always here, so you can contact your instructor by email, by phone. If they have an on-campus office, that will be listed here, so you can schedule a, an appointment to meet with them face-to-face. -face. But um, communication is super important, so if you are having issues in a course, if you have questions or concerns, the contact information is here for a reason. Reach out. Let us know. We want you to be successful, so um, make sure you're reaching out and communicating your needs. Okay, so that instruct that that contact information will always be in the instructor tab. The next important um, link here is the syllabus tab. Every course has a course syllabus, and the course syllabus is going to be a very important document that you need to read in full to make sure um, you're aware of all the course requirements and policies and procedures. So this is going to be your starting point. Um, every course will have a syllabus attached. To open the attachment, you'll hover over the attachment link here and click. In Chrome, it will open up in the bottom left-hand corner. So once that's finished downloading, you can simply click on that. It will open up in Microsoft Word. When you see that Enable Editing button at the top, just click that. And then you can scroll through and see all the important information 
especially how they're going to evaluate what's going to be expected. Um, you can save this to your, your, to your computer. You can print it. Um, but it's there for your benefit. And um, usually what your instructor will say is um, before you contact them, check your syllabus because most, most of the time, nine times out of ten, um, the answer to your questions will be in this course syllabus. So make, su make sure you um, open it and read it um, before you're at, you know, at the beginning of um, your course. The content assignments is going to be um, kind of like your home base in the course. That's going to be exactly what it says. It's going to be where your content and assignments are located for this particular course. So if you click there, if you are taking an online hybrid or blended course, you'll have to complete an introductory assignment by a certain due date in order to get access to your course content. So I'll walk you through how that would look. You would just simply select the, um, the assignment link by clicking on the title here. It will open up. It'll have you um, click the continue button. You'll read the attendance procedure, the dishonesty policy. And after you've done that, you would select yes and then click save and submit. It's going to say, um, are you sure? We're going to click OK there. And you keep clicking OK until you get back to this page. And now you see that you've successfully completed your introductory assignment. You now have access to your course content folder. To open that, you select the course content, um, the title here. You click on that folder link. And it will open up to um, your course. And this is where you'll see, um, usually your instructor will have your um, content organized maybe by week or by topic. It, that would depend um, on your instructor. But to access your, um, your content, you would select the folder link again and folder link again. And here you have your content. There could be videos to watch, um, links to click on, information to read, assignments. You'll see here's an your first assignment here. You would select the assignment link. Um, there's another assignment here. So as you work through the student orientation, you'll have a, a, um, an opportunity to get the feel for how courses flow and how to access your assignments and things like that. I do want to take the time to show you how to use this, what we call a cookie trail. Because at times, um, there's so many things to click on there, it, you, it might feel like you're getting a little bit lost in your course. So just remember, um, this trail up here always lets you know where you are. So we know we're in the week one folder of the unit one, and then that's located in the content assignments. So you can always just go back one level to get back to where you were here and then go back one more level to get back um, to the main, the main content assignments area. So use your cookie trail if you ever feel like you're, you're lost. That's there and it can be really helpful. Um, your, this middle section here is going to look different depending on your instructor and depending on the course you're taking. This is going to be where most of the course specific tools are located, like how to access your grades for this course, if you need to email your instructor or a fellow classmate, um, or other tools that your instructor have provided for you. Those links will be here. And then again, at the bottom of every menu is always that Blackboard tech support if you get into trouble and you feel like you need help. And that's it. That's a quick tour of a course menu and then um, the Blackboard UltraBase Ultra Navigation panel as well. Um, I hope this is helpful. If you have questions or need help, remember we're always one phone call or email away, and we're happy to help. Have a great semester, everybody. Thanks.